Hi there. My name is Gary Friedman and welcome to the Friedman Archives blog. It's a windy day here in New England, so pardon the wind noise. I'm here to demonstrate the Alpha 9 III, which is the very first camera to have a global shutter, which will allow you to do some really incredible things. Not only can you shoot in a theater under LED lights without having to worry about banding, not only can you shoot extreme sports where you don't have to worry about the jello effect if you're shooting video, but you can also shoot at a top shutter speed of 1 80,000th of a second. So what? Well, it's good for your next trip to the sun. It's also good if you're a fan of wireless flash like me, because that means you can do wireless flash sync outdoors on a bright day and still not need a neutral density filter. Let me explain all that to you and why one is even needed. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate this using uh, the Sony 85 millimeter f1.4 G Master lens because a lot of people like to take portraits of people outdoors using a very fast lens to get that really beautiful out of focus background. Say hello to Carol. She's going to be our model today. Notice that she has coordinated her outfit. Her coat matches her hair. So even without turning the flash on, I'm just going to turn the camera on and I'm going to meet her outdoors on a bright day. If I weren't using flash, the camera would recommend, you can't see the numbers but I'm reading it to you, the camera would recommend one four thousandth of a second shutter speed out here at f1.4. This is an ISO 125. All right. But what if you want to use wireless flash? Well, normally with a camera with a focal plane shutter, you can't shoot that fast, even with high speed sync. Well, high-speed sync, you reduce your output. What, no, mo, what, that, what most people did was they employed uh, a neutral density filter. They put it in front of the lens that would cut out the amount of light coming in, lower your shutter speed to allow you to shoot at f1.4, but then your flash has to work a little bit harder. So no neutral density filters needed here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the flash on, and you'll be able to see 1,000, let's see, okay. And it looks like you got some fill light going on there. That's great. Notice all the, 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 the shadows on our face are now completely eliminated. Okay, now we can also control your background. By raising the shutter speed, you'll be able to make the background look darker and darker. And yet, the, uh, because we have ETTL flash, the light on the subject will continue to be good. Let's try that. With the flash off, I'm going to increase the shutter speed to 1 16,000th of a second. As you can see, that background's rather dark. Now I'm going to turn the flash on, and now it'll brighten up again so I can see what I'm doing. And as you can see, that's, that's pretty good. Now normally, this is why I like to set my flash exposure compensation to minus one, because it's a little on the bright side, but I can fix that in Photoshop. How how much can I, do? Can, can, can I go here? Can I go to 1 80,000th of a second? Not right now because I'm shooting at f1.4. With this camera, for reasons I don't understand, if you want to be able to shoot at an 80,000th of a second with flash, you have to go to f1.8 or smaller. I don't know why. So I'm going to set this lens to f1.8. Here we go. Look at that. Almost completely black. That's amazing. So you can have complete control over your background and not need a neutral density filter. This also means that you don't need a studio, a dark studio in your basement or anything. You can actually shoot outdoors on a bright day. I wonder how far I can push this. I'm gonna reconfigure the light here so it's shooting from overhead straight down for a really dramatic portrait of the hat. We'll show you in a minute. Stick around. Okay, I've never tried this before, but we're gonna give it a I shot. Like this. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I like, uh, like that's good. My goal here is to get just a really high, um, high contrast shot of just the hat. And if I, do, if I play my cards right, you won't even be able to see the face of, of Carol. So let's see what happens here. I got the flash straight up, going straight down. Let's see what happens. We're shooting now at an 80,000th of a second at f1.8, ISO 125. Here we go. Ha! That's exactly what I had in mind. All right, can I make it better? 
Um, I can. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. I've angled it a little bit. Okay, that's not a good expression on your face, even though you can't see your face much. Oh, okay. All right, unflattering lighting, but I was able to do it at a very, very fast shutter speed, outdoors, bright day. You no longer need an expensive studio. You're welcome. And now back to the rest of the blog. Thanks for watching.